Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has started to roll out the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, KB5020030. And this is more or less the same update I did post on late last week, which Microsoft was um, finalizing testing on in the release preview channel. And now on the 15th of November has released and rolled out the update now to the stable version of Windows 10. Now the update is rolling out for all supported versions of Windows 10 and will be listed on your update page, your Windows update page as an optional update in this section. And um, these optional C release updates, as I always suggest, um, that do roll out near the end of every month, only install these optional updates if you are experiencing any issues with your device or your operating system, else just ignore the update and leave it alone. Because if you don't install the update now, and most of the improvements and fixes will be carried over into the Patch Tuesday update rolling out on the second Tuesday of next month, December. And um, that will be the automatic compulsory security update. And most of these improvements and fixes will be made available in that update. Now, just on a side note, as I did mention last week, um, just as a quick reminder, this will be the last optional update rolling out for Windows 10 for this year because Microsoft says... Uh, due to the holidays and the holiday season at the end of December, there will be no optional updates rolling out for Windows 10 and 11. So we can expect the next optional update for Windows 10 to roll out near the end of January next year, 2023. Now, with that out the way, if you do decide to install the update, you'll have to restart your device and it will be listed under Quality Updates KB5020030. Now, just to go through some of the uh, key highlights, and improvements that have rolled out with this update and um, the key highlight I would consider uh, for this um, update would be the new improvement that the search box now appears by default on the taskbar when the taskbar is at the top of your screen and I did mention this last week but just to do a quick recap uh, if I just quickly enable my search box previously um, in Windows 10 if we change the orientation of the taskbar from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen the search box would not be displayed and now that has been addressed and fixed and we can see now that the search box now displays when the taskbar is at the top of your screen and previously what would happen is it would just default back to the search icon where that is not the case anymore it will now display the search box by default and also there was no option available to show the search box when the taskbar was at the top of your screen so that's all been changed now with this update and um as mentioned now, the search box appears by default um, when the taskbar is orientated to the top of your screen now in Windows 10. So that's a nice new improvement. I think that some users will find handy. Now, um, just to go through a couple of the other key highlights, um, the update addresses um, some persistent update failures according to Microsoft um, for the Microsoft Store. And um, it also addresses an issue that affects certain printers um, the print outputs um, were misaligned, so that issue has been addressed. And then it also addresses an issue that affects daylight saving time in the Republic of Fiji. It cancels DST for 2022. Now, um, just to go through a couple of the other improvements, because at the heart, this is a non-security update and is a bug fix update. Um, there were password reset failures for some users um, using Windows 10 in virtual machines. Uh, it also addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Direct 3D9. Um, it causes D3D9 to stop working when you use Microsoft Remote De uh, Desktop. And then the last um, improvement is it addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Now, um, if you do decide to install this update, if we just head over to um, Winver about uh, Windows, uh, the latest version now for um, and build for version 22H2 will be OS build 19045.2311. And um, the point release 2311 remains the same for all the different versions of Windows 10. And it will just be the OS build 19045 that will change to 19044 for um, Windows 10 um, 21H2, 19043 for 21H1, and 19042 for 20H2. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.